A unique feature to rooting keyboards is being able to adjust the actuation point of every individual switch to your liking, meaning you can assign certain keys such as F or D in League of Legends to have a lower actuation point than the rest of the keyboard, so you can't mistakenly fat finger the key. Actuation point is a very straightforward concept. It is simply the point when the keyboard recognizes you press the key. So if you were to press the key but not to the actuation point, it won't be registered by the keyboard. This can give many benefits to rooting keyboards, and I will be focusing on its significance in League of Legends as previously mentioned. First off, I will be showing you how to adjust the actuation point for certain keys in the utility. So first you'd like to click on the performance tab at the bottom of the utility, click on set per key actuation, left click on your preferred keys, and then set it to whatever actuation point you see fit for you. I set mine to 1.3 for my F and D key. Click done and then save to keyboard. Now I'll show you in the practice tool what this may look like. Here I am pressing the Q and W key with just enough pressure. And then I press the R key while slipping it off onto my flash to simulate fat fingering. You can see after repeatedly pressing it, nothing is happening. You can make it even more extreme or deliberate by setting the actuation point to something like 3.5 millimeters for more effective results. Now, in addition to adjustable actuation point, our keyboards also come with a DKS feature. DKS stands for Dynamic Keystroke and allows you to set certain key binds for keys depending on where it is during the keystroke, meaning you can bind an action when the key is first pressed, when it's at its lowest actuation point, when the key is coming back up, and when the key finally returns to its highest actuation point. This can come in handy with League, especially if you prefer to use an indicator with your abilities. To set it up, go into Utility and click on the bottom right option labeled DKS. Then left click on your preferred key, in this case it's Q, and put that key into the first box. Then drag and drop it all the way to the third column, and for the second box put left shift and only do the last two, and lastly put Q in the final box and only do the last two again. In addition to Q, you would also want to do this for W, E, R, and DNF if you would like to. In addition to the DKS settings, you will also have to make sure your binds are correct in League. They should look like this. Here's a quick demonstration of what it looks like. This can be very useful with a variety of champions that have skill shots as well. I hope everyone found this video useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.